Hey YouTube, this is me, Top Deck King. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this deck tag video, gameplay and all that. For all the people who have been supporting and watching so far, thanks for uh, continuing to support and watch and welcome back. But today we have a spicy one for best of one. We are playing a four color mutate deck. Um, but yeah, before we get into that, uh, hopefully if you're new by the time you're done watching the video you hit that sub destroy that uh, subscribe button destroy the thumbs up hit that notification button so that way you get to see my future videos when they get posted but as always check the description of the video because the deck list will be in there both for PC and mobile as well as some other information maybe about the deck drop some comments down below if you play this deck or you you know whatever you can improve it i'm sure people would love to hear feedback i know i would love to hear about it but yeah drop some comments down below subscribe hit that thumbs up hit the bell let's get into the deck tech so i split the deck into what it is so the lands there's nothing special about the lands i have a couple of black lands here with the triomes and the clear pathways because this is like the main this is the otk this creature this mutate creature otks your opponent so you could just go infinite and win the game just by uh this creature but so the lands there's nothing special about the lands i mean there's a couple of basics you need more red than any other land and then you need blue as the secondary most played land uh with the exception of this guy being white and yeah that's kind of pretty much it everything else requires blue or red our removal package since this is a best of one deck is four shocks and two fire prophecies this is early to keep the the pressure off offs and then as well as i mean we have this as the two drops so this keeps the one drops off our backs as well but this is able to keep the one drops off our back for one mana in case we have our second land come in tab fire prophecy is a way to do three damage to those creatures that have you know obviously shock can only do two damage to something but fire prophecy can kill off more creatures and on top of that it helps us loot through the deck the also the other reason why we're running shock is because we run apex of thunder so it allows us to cast three costs or less non-creature spell from our graveyard without paying its mana cost so if you start chaining a bunch of mutate creatures on it you can start chaining a bunch of shocks and start directing damage at them so that is another built-in otk deck in there you just have to play 10 shocks technically and with this guy you can keep playing for free out of your graveyard so there's another built-in otk so not only can you otk them with shock and uh apex of thunder but you can also otk them with this uh mutate creature i have insanable hemophage i guess i don't know how to pronounce this guy's name but whatever this guy's name is you can otk with this guy so that's our removal package our card and uh, en uh engine slash mana ramp is uh so iterations are our card engine in a sense allows us to grab pretty much two cards the card you exile is most likely going to be a land in the early game so you can play for free later game you're just going to grab two mutate creatures so that one to your hand and one to the exile so you can start mutating uh open uh the om omen paths is there to uh ramp you and generate the mana so this card since so Apex of Thunder allows you to play something free out of the graveyard, three costs or less, uh, non-creature spell. So you you mutate, you this will allow you to play this free, generate four mana, mutate another creature, play this for free, generate more mana, mutate, generate four mana, mutate, generate four mana. So with Omens of the Path, Polywog, and uh, Apex, as long as you keep mutating, you could generate infinite mana on top of it. So because this reduces the cost of your creatures by one. So this will only cost three mana, this generates four mana. This will cost one mana, this will generates four mana. This costs what, three mana, it generates four mana. So you get to generate infinite mana uh, with Apex, Thunder, Omen, uh, Omen Pats, and Polywog. So that's what it is. But like I said, it's there to generate you mana with the Apex so you can keep going and going and going and mutating. Seize the Spoil is another way for a uh, card engine slash uh, create a treasure, be able to play for free from the graveyard off uh, Apex. One showdown, in case we play showdown, then we can say play a creature, and since we can kind of go infinite in a sense, um, we can put all the counters on one creature and attack 
for uh, a kill in one turn. So there's technically three built-in OTKs. You put enough counters on one creature, you can attack for lethal. You can OTK them with uh, Shock and Apex. You can OTK them with this guy. So there's a lot of ways. And you technically don't need to play that many spells with Showdown because this guy has double strike. So if you get this guy up to a 10-10, so that's seven spells, you can just win the game by double striking. This is our Mutate package. Poliwag is pretty crucial for the deck because it cheapens all your Mutate cards. And so hopefully you don't, you know, be too greedy with it and you know throw it out there in a sense when you know it's going to die because this guy is really key and he's a draw engine to start shifting through your deck to try drawing the mutate creatures uh nothing else really kind of special about the other mutates you know this is a cheap mutate to mute cost two mana to mutate if you have polywog it costs one blue he draws you cards he has flash um this is the big part of the mutate creatures because it allows you to play these all these cards for free these five cards allows you to play for free and they gain you advantage this gives you two cards this generates you mana this draws you cards removal removal so this is the big one right here this guy be careful with him because he's the big one this guy is there just because he has a uh, death touch slash otk if you have these two mutated so when this guy when he mutates it does four damage short creature and then you gain life but if you mutate with this guy, even if the creature is bigger, it won't matter because he's going to have dead touch. So this creature does damage to the other creature. And since it has dead touch, it automatically kills the other creature. So if you have these two together, if you have one mutated with the other, it doesn't matter. Whatever creature it is, as long as that creature is not indestructible, it'll kill the creature no matter what. This is another so this is that so this is this is also good against aggro because it's a three five that gains you life and kills their creatures this is another way to draw cards because every time you mutate you draw a card and they can also get you into the air and then like i said the lands there's nothing really special about the lands you know you're playing a lot of red and blue with the exception of this being uh double white everything else requires blue and red so but yeah, this is the Mutate deck. Uh, let's go take it on the ladder. Uh, let's see what we happen. So, you know, on the Mythic ladder and hopefully it works out. Uh, we don't know. But let's go to the matches and see what happens. All right, let's try some fun action. Some fun arena, some fun decks. We're playing a Mutate four color, four colors? Black, red, yeah, Mardu and blue. So yeah, four color Mutate. Let's see what we can do with it strayed we get to go first um sure we'll keep because we get to cast this on turn two so that's pretty good um we don't have really anything in our hand that could do anything other than that but we get to cast that on turn two this costs what five right yeah and we're playing against the snow deck all right oh another one huh another polywog I guess we can cast another one next turn and then start. This would be cheaper then. But the other problem is we need the double white is the problem here. At least he can't attack. So that's good. Okay, there we go. There we go. So let's play this. I mean, we're going to do this on white anyways. Because we have red here. at. So we're just going to... And then no attacks. We're going to just prevent him from attacking maybe it give something protection from blue i guess but oh all right okie dokie dr jones why is he attacking with those that's dumb he's just trolling me now yep you got it we gotta kill this one first obviously All right, so put this here. So, mutate. We gotta kill selfless savior for, ooh. Yeah, never mind. We gotta kill selfless savior first. Actually, we're gonna kill Elsid first. Elsid first. 
Um, I'm debating on which one am I supposed to. I guess I'm going to discard that. Let's go over. Let's kill Elsid. Hopefully he protects it with selfless savior, but I don't think he's that. I don't think he's going to do that. I'm baiting him to do that, but. But I don't think he's going to do that. Okay. Um, So I can try to attack. He give it protection. He gains three life. Then he attacks me. All right. We got to do this now. Guess we're discarding that. Guess we're discarding that. Let's go under again. Let's kill the selfless savior. We can actually do it on this one and force him to do it. Yeah, let's do that. It forces him to sack this. If he doesn't sack it, we attack him. So, forcing him to use selfless savior here. And I don't think he can get rid of this. Oh, actually, he could. It's a four drop. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> if he has Kai Clave Apparition, he can... What? What? Alright, well, this has Double Strike. So, I'm down to hit you for six. And I get to draw two cards, I forgot, because I have that creature on it. That was odd. I don't know about that. Sure. Sure thing, pal. All right, here we go. We could go infinite now. So let us. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this costs one, two. This is going to cost us two. So let's put this on red. This is going to cost us two. This is going to cost us three. As long as we have double red, we do. Okay, let's do this first. This way we could start drawing cards also. We're going to clear his board. Well, not clear his board because selfless savior protects something. So we're going to clear as much of his board as possible. But we're going to be able to fly and attack him so so we're going to target obviously linden so discard showdown uh discard land let us go this is five mana yeah let's go over because in case he has a sky clave is the reason why i want to put this over let's see if he's gonna i mean i'm, I'm assuming you're gonna do it right sacrifice selfless savior now there you go. Sure. It gains indestructible, but that doesn't mean we don't get to... Uh... So now we go infinite because of this. So discard. Discard. Uh, under. Now we could go infinite. So we get to play this. Uh, let's add white. And... White and red, yeah, that works. Okay. I was <laughs> like, um, wait. Now, if we, there it is. There's a the black one. All right. We won the game now. Um, we'll discard this one. So now it doesn't matter because we won the game. So grab this one. Grab this one. So we're going to add black and blue. And then the other one, we're going to add white and red. And now we're, we won the game. Discard. Uh, yeah, discard. It doesn't really matter. The game is over. As long as we don't just deck ourselves out, I should say. But we won't deck out because we the 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 guy. So let's add blue, black. Okay, he just conceded. All right. Let's go try some uh, orcula mutate. 
Four color mutate. Waiting for opponent. P toy. P toy. Man, our rank got tanked from testing some decks out. Um I think I have the mulligan in this hand, unfortunately. Just because we don't have anything we could do early game. So we're gonna have to mole. This one, I guess we could keep. We could bottom this. We have a fire prophecy to kill something. We got some land drops. So doesn't really matter what one we play first. So we're just gonna play this one. Black or red, white. So Winota. Okay. So we could beat Winota in a sense that. Um, do I need red or do I need? I got blue here, so I think I just put this on red because this is these are red. Um, we could beat Winota. Um, it's just gonna come if we draw an untapped land, we can like clear his field just about. This costs three to mutate. So if we draw an untapped source, what the heck is he attacking? I'm guessing he has a bone crusher in his hand. That's the only logic to attacking is because you have bone crusher. See, <laughs> well, 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 opponent, did we call that or did we call that? There's like no reason otherwise for him to attack. All right. Don't have Winota. Don't have Winota. They have Winota. Blade Historian. That's fine. We could kill that in combat. So let's do three damage to this. I think I bottom this. So this is going to cost me four mana. Yeah, I'm going to bottom this. Yeah, drew the same card. <laughs> drew the same card. All right, another polywog. Um, so we can add red and white. Do it on this and kill that. So, white, red. Let's mutate this. Um, I don't think I need a second one, so I'm gonna discard that. Let's go over. We kill this, and then we get to attack him for six. And then we get to mutate, draw, or we can mutate here on this. We can do some stuff. We can do some stuff. Selfless Savior. It has, unfortunately, it has protection from multi cards, multicolored. So that's kind of unfortunate. All right, let's see. But I mean, I could go over it, I guess. So let's play this. Let's put it on here. We're going to go after selfless savior, I guess. All right. Oh, I guess that's that's a problem with playing the land because I could have played this now instead. Um, I guess I have to discard the land because I need this. Let's go. Yeah, let's go over. So let's try to do damage here. This thing doesn't have reach, right? No. Sure. All right. Let's uh, attack. Hit him for six again. He can't get rid of this. We just win the game with it on its own. And this is human, so even if he has Winota, it won't matter. That's fine. That is a okay, my friend. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. So this will give us the two blue. So we don't need that so let's do oh um yeah i guess it's fine so blue white let's put this here i guess we'll discard we'll discard that um under get to draw a card deal damage here Mm -hmm. Um, let's go ahead and do it again. Discard that. Let's go under. Deal damage to that. Nice. 
Kill this. You get a 2 2 knight. You got it. Put this on blue. Cast this. And then hit you for six and draw four cards. And now he's at two. Shock wins us the game. As well as having all this other stuff. But Skyclave, too bad he's a five drop. Good game, opponent. Yeah, I, I made sure to put this guy on top because it's a five drop. So, yep. All right, let's go with some four color mutate deck. Oh, color mutate. Let's see how we do. Robert of Ava. Robert of Ava. We go first. Um, I guess we'll keep. We have this guy. This guy helps us start looting through our cards. And then we have a fire prophecy to kill one of his creatures and start looting through our effects. So if we could draw Omen. I think it's called Omen, right? Or is it called Omnith? Is it Omnith? Or Omnith? Open the Omen Path. That's what it's called. Open the Omen Path. So if we could draw that, then uh, we're looking good. Because then we could go infinite with this guy. So we're playing against red. So... Alright, we gotta bring this out before he gets two snow card or three snow permanents in play. Once he gets three snow permanents in play, it's gonna look kind of bleak. Because then he could kill this with one frostbite. I could have played this, but I'm gonna throw this guy out and go with that. And it's also a blocker against, say, his uh, Robber the Rich, I guess I'm assuming right here. Does he have double frostbite? Nice. Nicely. See, Robber the Rich. <laughs> How did I know it was Robert the Witch? Okay. All right, Robert the Rich, huh? So we're missing white. So use this, kill this. Let's see what we hit first. I think I'm gonna bottom this. Let's kill this. Let's bottom this. Eh, another poly guy. We don't need to attack to win. Another poly guy is not what I'm looking for, though. Yep, Frostbite. All right. Um, I could play another Polywall guy again. If he gets Frostbited, he gets Frostbited again. I guess he has another Frostbite. Frostbite number two! Number two, Frostbite! I guess I could have played this, but... Eh. Eh. Looks like we're taking four. That's fine. That's a okay, my friend. Okay. Uh, what do I have in here? I have fire prophecy. All right. Let's just cast it. Let's just cast it. Does he have another frostbite? Is the question. This guy has first strike too, right? Yes, he does. So you can block faceless haven pretty effectively. Use two frostbites. So what are the odds? And when I say what are the odds, you know he has it. You know they have it, right? You know they have it. Don't you dare do it. It has first strike. It has first strike. It has first strike. It has first strike. I guess, I mean... Because people don't see it enough to know. That's fair. That's fair, I guess. They're like, what is this card? Eh. Got another faceless haven. Hall monitor, sure. Rimrock. Well, this cause we could do it now. Do we have okay, let's just go it. Let's just go at it. Let's just go at it. We're going to go over now, so that way he can't just straight up kill it. No, 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 no. Aw, oh, man. I messed up. I clicked it way too quick. That was bad. I was trying to play Seize the Spoils here. I was trying to play this. 
oh well, I guess. Oh well. All right. So we can place these the spoils here. Let's discard a showdown. We're looking for open the arm path or whatever it's called again. Um, let's put this on blue. Let's go ahead and mutate this. Let's go under so you can't kill it. Let us play. So how much could we hit him for? Three, six, seven, eight. So not enough. So let's play seize the spoils. Discard. And hit you for six, I guess. And draw two cards. There's no way you could hit us for 15. There it is. <laughs> There's no way you're going to hit us for 15 here, opponent. Good game, opponent. Yep. You got it. Good game. Make some content here, everyone. Trying to make some content with some four color mutate. Ram. Rama. Rama. Oh, uh, we're playing against the Soltai Yorion deck, I guess. Well, we can't beat that deck. This hand doesn't do anything. It's like, what the heck? All right, I guess we bought him that. We can't cast a single. Oh, we could cast Shock. We could cast Shock. That's the only card we can cast. Blue white. Okay, so it's not soul tie. Oh, come on, deck. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, deck. You got it. Do I have to push shift enter or does that is that gonna work enough? Sometimes does that doesn't that doesn't work. Oh come on. Come on, deck. Yep. I don't think he's blue white. I think he might be Esper. Maybe he is blue white. Maybe the guy is blue white. Actually, let's play iteration. All right, so one to your hand. I could put this to my hand and then, no, yeah, put, no, put this to my hand and put that there and put that to the bottom. All right, so put this to my hand. Bottom of the library and then face down, okay. All right, you're up. I wanted the dragon because then it allows me to start playing multiple spells per turn. But we can't do that. Oh, we drew another one anyways. We drew another one anyways. All right. Question is, we have black, so we don't need this on black. So put this on blue. Let's see if this guy dies, I guess. I don't want to cast anything else because he might have a Shatter or a Doom Scar. This could be a Doom Scar. Glass Casket. Guess that works too. So, and then he gets a Blink. I don't have a way to destroy a Glass Casket either. Maybe I should have waited since he wasn't doing anything anyways. And then just kind of go off on the churn. Okay, well, I guess we cast this guy, since we have two of them. This is three across or less. That's a counterspell. That is a counterspell. Divide by a little. Sure, that's fine. You got it. You got it. Man buying time in a sense but not really we need is the black creature and then we could go infinite against him and just win the game that way but 
showdown of the skulls would be nice another iteration would be awesome you know there's cards that would be nice but we'll see what happens okay well we're gonna do the same thing again go for it again It's either that he's sacking Omen or he has another divide by zero. Maybe this is a counter spell. Maybe this is saw it coming. This gives us the ability to draw cards if he doesn't get rid of Apex. I guess he's gonna flash in the uh what's it called? We're not flashing, but cast it's a three, four, five, six. Hopefully he doesn't have a land Yorion. Cause if he doesn't have land Yorion can play this one two three four if you have five this technically gives us one extra mana so that makes it six so four five six we could kill yorion and we get to draw a card draw two cards actually and we get to play iteration so technically draw four cards but he has a way to get rid of this so he hires a way to get rid of this now you could casket this, but that's fine. I get my polywog back then. And polywog. We can't even attack because of this idiot over here, the 04 idiot. The 04 idiot. Well, we're going to attack anyways. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Don't block with that 04 guy. Don't block with. Okay, double block. Triple block. The triple block. Try the polywog again. We don't care if that guy died. Oh, he exiled my guy. What am I saying? We don't care if that guy died. He exiled my guy. Yes, it's polywog. It's polywog. Making our things cheaper. So we really we need this guy in play for the most part. So that way these cards become cheaper. Brazen. Okay. Yeah, it makes these guys cheaper. This guy just won't let me keep a creature. Hardcast Shark Typhoon. Oh my gosh, I don't even have... I mean, I could do this, I guess, to flash this. That doesn't seem worth it. But let's see, if I do that... I didn't do that to add 4 mana to play that. Starts netting me mana. But the problem with that is... Hmm... This is tough. This is a Doom Scar. We're probably just dead. All right, we're gonna go for it, I guess. It's Flash. So blue. Nope, that's wrong. Because then this is gonna cost three. Put this on this. No. Let's put this on this. Showdown of the Skulls. We can discard that one. Over. Let's play this again. Let's add white and red. Mutate this. Um, let's discard this because we could play showdown. Could do four damage here. Kill that. Uh, let's add white and red again. I could do another one, but what does that do me? Play iteration and that over and over and over. All right, we're going to go for it. We are going to go for it. 
discard that under so we're gonna add let's play this one into this one see what we hit first so what are we gonna add to our hand Ugh. Ugh. that was actually like disgusting bad that doesn't do that doesn't help any shape or form so let's add one of them to your hand so it's like I could add this but all right so let's add this to my hand bottom of the deck put that there add blue and red do this like I said we're gonna try to go infinite we're gonna try to go infinite oh I should have discarded the seeds that spoils my bad Okay, so one, two. So add this to my hand. Put this to the bottom of the library. Put this in the exile. See, we're going to try to go infinite. So white, blue. Um, I got to keep looting. So play this. We need the black creature and then we win the game. We get the black creature, we win the game. We don't need this one. Don't need this one. Under. Alright, choose one. So, Omen. So this gives me more mana. It generates, starts generating more mana and gets two, but this goes through three cards. But I'm going to generate mana with it also. Even though I don't necessarily need mana, per se. We might run out. We'll find out. Discard all these lands. Oh my gosh, stop drawing lands. <laughs> stop drawing lands? Stop drawing lands. All right. Uh, Omen. Seize the spoils. Discard this junk. Nope. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. So we need to add white and red. Oh my. Look how many lands we drew. That's crazy. That is crazy, my friend. There we go. We might deck out though. I have to hit that guy soon or I'm gonna lose. The black creature, I need to hit the black creature soon or I'm gonna lose. So, where is it at again? Omen, seize the spoil, discard. There you are. It's about time. So black, blue. There we go. We got ooh. All right. So now we're just going to start generating mana instead of drawing cards. Discard a card. Oh, okay. So now we're going to start generating mana. Discard a card. Because otherwise we're going to lose the game if we draw too many cards. But this should win us the game. So we're going to start playing Shocks and Omens. Okay, so white. We need another black, one of those black creatures. I think I'm drawing too many cards, actually. <laughs> there you are but I think we might be dead how much is he going to take shock 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 good game <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, we got him. We got him, boys. We got him. All right, let us go play some more mutate. Some OTK studies. Some one turn kills. Mutate them. Sparrow. Or Sparrow? Spar Sparrow. Sparrow. Not Sparrow. What the hell am I thinking? Sparrow. All right. Um. This is a tough one. This is a very, very tough one. Um. Yikes. <laughs> I'm going to keep because I'm on the draw. But because if I could draw, what is it? The open, the um, omen pads, then it can possibly be good. But this is a yikes. Here. So I'm keeping because I have early one early removal with this so that way when i mutate i could use this again to take another piece out of their hand but this is the risky one let's see sparrow this is a very risky one i'm pro most likely gonna lead with this because it doesn't look like i need black at the moment if i top deck the polywog then i'll need the blue so we're gonna lead with this oh there's that card there is that card. If they're Gruel, this is going to suck. Because otherwise I would play this. But if they're Gruel and they have, what, Rimrock. That's the only way I get punished for not playing the Mountain over the Triland. So. But that's a good draw. That is a good draw. Because we get to play this, say, turn 3. Play this, turn 4. Mutate, use the effect. Mutate, 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 mutate. So. Another edge wall. It's not good for us. Not good for us. All right, we're just going to kill one now because otherwise he's going to be able to do it regardless. So we're just going to kill one now. And it looks like he's the teamer adventures. So on the bright side, their removal is what? Bone Crusher? So it shouldn't be able to deal with this in theory. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. In theory, it shouldn't deal with this. I'm kind of surprised that they played this turn one. Yep, see, so Teamer Adventure. Teamer, wait, they played the land first, so they're not going to get two cards out of this unless they hit a one drop somehow. That would be pretty unfortunate, or I would say not unfortunate. That would be pretty lucky for them. They hit, you know. All right, since we have a duplicate one anyways also, we're just gonna play it. So now that we have a duplicate one, we can do shock and omen kind of infinitely. We still need to draw, sort of, we need to draw polywog to play polywog because then it makes everything, it makes these mutate creatures cheaper, then you can go infinite. Because this is adding four, so adding four Unless I get a second one in the graveyard, adding four is not really going to do anything because this costs four to play. I mean, this and this is cheaper, obviously. So we get net two mana here and net one mana here, but this one breaks even. Oh, he has a removal spell. He's highlighting my apex of thunder here. Why are you highlighting my creature? Don't highlight it. Don't highlight it. Fire prophecy. Okay. Well, that's a good way to deal with it. That sucked. Untap land. Untap land. Untap land. So I could do omen. This costs four regardless, so I can't do that. All right, I gotta hope he doesn't have another fire prophecy. Why does it go off the screen and come in? Gotta hope he doesn't have another fire prophecy. Kind of sucks that he got rid of this, but because then we could, like I said, we could have done multiple spells, but. It is what it is. Oh, come on. What? What? There's another. There's the land, but. What? Whenever this creature mutates, you may cast. How does that work? <laughs> this is allowing me to try to mutate it. Whenever this creature mutates. You may cast target non-creature spell with mana value without paying its mana cost. 
You cast a spell or mute cost, put it under or over target non human creature you own. How is it letting I don't own What is going on? I'm kinda curious to find out. I don't know if I'm gonna lose this game yet though. I am very <laughs> curious to find out. Should I try it and see what happens? What does he have in the graveyard? But I want him to cast that. All right, whatever. We're going to pass turn. Sucks that that came in tapped. Otherwise, I could have flashed this in. That would have been nice, but oh well. So we're going to take three, four, five. Taking five. Guy had Fire Prophecy and a Cron War in the main deck. Well, a Cron War. Well, he's playing a different version of Team or Two because they don't run uh, iteration here. So, all right. So I'm gonna do it at end step here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flash this in. Well, not flash. Actually, I could flash it in, but um, I'm going to. Put it on that and see what happens. Oh, no, 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 we can't do that. What's Polywog? Okay. Oh, they changed the way the thing looks now. Interesting. They changed how mana taps. They have the. All right. What could he do? Is that a brazen borrower or something in his hand? Does he have a mystical dispute? Mm hmm. So we can mutate at instant speed, use the effect trigger, kill off like an edge wall, maybe if we wanted to. Um, we're just going to pass turn here, get our um, apex thunder back, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so he has brazen borrower. That's fine. We get Apex back. Yep. Let's hope he doesn't have another Akron War, because if he does, then that's probably, uh, we just lose, because that's going to hit us for seven here. So if he has another Akron War, then that's going to spill bad news for us. All right, we're just taking this. No blocks. No blocks. I said no blocks, my friend. Uh... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever he targets, we'll go ahead and get rid of it. Well, I can't target that one. Or I can't get rid of that one, I should say. All right, well, and we only have one blue, unfortunately. If we had second blue, no, it wouldn't matter, actually. So he can tap my guy down. I guess tapping it down doesn't really matter. And it doesn't have any activated abilities. It's triggered abilities. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. I'm debating on if I want to use it or not because it's a two mana. So two mana is cheap for me. So I only get to play Shock from the graveyard. So I think we're going to pass. It's a Teamer Coma with Iteration and a Cron War. Nice, nice, uh, nicely done, opponent. That's actually, I mean, it got me, so <laughs> nicely done. What else can you do? You have a land? Sure. All right. Resolves. Okay. Okay. So put this on. Doesn't really matter because we have four red and three white. So I guess put this on white. So let's cast this first then let's put this land down all right let's add black and blue see if we had the second one in man it would have been sick all right so black blue so this costs two mana Like I said, these aren't activated abilities. These are triggered abilities. So he shouldn't be able to stop it. So Omen Path. Let's add white and red. 
Let's go ahead and mutate so we can start drawing cards. We'll discard that easy. Uh, over. It takes damage again. Play Omen Path. Here we go. We're going off on him. Let us add white, red, I guess. Okay. So I have to do this one first, unfortunately, because I want to do this one, but I can't because I don't have the second blue. So under. Let's play Omen Path. Let's add blue, guess white. Okay. Um, so we play this. Let's go ahead and mutate this yet again. Okay, that's good. Discard. See, that's why we need the second one, just to be safe. Um, do, 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 do. All right. I think we win the game here, just about. Let's add black and blue. As long as we could draw one more mutate creature, I think we win. So, one more. That's a uh, negative so far. How much is he going to take is the other question. How many times has it mutated? Should I just try to go for the shock here? Alright, we're going to go for the shock, I guess. It's five, so good game. <laughs> Alright, we're going to give this one more game, one more match, or one more game, whatever you want to call it, best of one, with the four color OTK mutate, and then we're going to be done with the deck. Look to as. Look to as. The last win didn't even give us anything. Um... All right, we're going to try it. The last one didn't even give us any percent, man. It wouldn't move up at all. That sucks. That's the what's unfortunate about best of one when you're in the percent. If you're playing best of one, you can sit at the same percent for like four matches in a row. It all depends on how low or high your opponent is, you know? All right. Um... I guess I have white, blue. I guess I'll put this on blue. Not really sure if I needed it on blue, but I get this gives me white, I guess. If I would have put it on white, maybe it would have been better. Are we playing against the mirror match here? What's going on? That'd be hilarious if it's the same deck. But the reason why I put it on... Oh, no, we're playing Just Guy Cycling. The reason why I put it on blue is so that way I could flash this guy in. All right, so that's kind of good that he played this because we can play Shock now. All right, so put this on red. So let's go ahead and uh, shock this. Let's go ahead and mutate. Draw a card, discard a card. I wanna discard this, but I also don't wanna discard that. But I'm gonna go ahead and discard that. Uh, we're gonna put it under because the one damage versus the two damage is not really gonna matter I'd rather have three toughness against him than not you know what I mean just to be safe I'd rather have the three toughness Sure, so it does one damage to me I can give my creature plus one plus oh I guess so if I attack, he decides to block, I could kill it. All right. If he doesn't block. All right. So we're going to give our creatures plus one, plus O, so we could kill it off. It's not great. Uh, obviously, it's not great to do that, but, I mean, I got rid of his creature. My creature is on the... F oh, he has another one. He has... I was like, you know. So he does another damage to me. I need another land so I can play, like, Showdown here, but... That doesn't seem to... Ooh, there it is. There's the land. I 
I wish it would have been untapped, so I could have played the show down here. Oh, I should have played Iteration before I did that. Ah, oh, darn, that was dumb. That was a big misplay. Because I could have played this and still played this in the same turn. Worst case scenario, mm. now if I do it, it won't matter. He has four cards in the graveyard. I guess it doesn't matter. We just pass turn here. No, if I pass turn, though, what does that do for me? That doesn't do anything if I pass turn. I should play Seize the Spoils. We're just gonna do, yeah, we're gonna play Seize the Spoils. We'll discard the iteration, I guess. Since I played it awful, maybe we could have played that as our land. Does another damage to me, you got it. You got it, my friend. Maybe I should have attacked and See if he would have blocked. Since he did it last time, though, I'm assuming he would do it again. What you got? Another. That's going to be dangerous. We need to start gaining life fast. We got to start the life gain package quickly. Why is he attacking? That's one damage to each opponent. Is there a reason he attacked? Am I missing something? Wow. Wow. Okay. That I wasn't expecting. All right. Let's go showdown. That I wasn't expecting. He got me there. Hey, yeah, yeah. That was bad. Okay, that was kind of awful. So, one, two, three, four. This would be five, then this would be six. So, wait, five, six. Could play, and then that would be seven. Could start getting it big. I think I have to kill one of these just to be safe. So, if I put this on red. Go ahead and fire prophecy this. Just so I don't take too much damage. I could bottom this. Sure, because like yeah, see I'm taking two here. And then on top of that, he can attack for another two points of damage. That would be too dangerous to do. But that's a good draw. The question is are we gonna have enough two, four, five, six? We're gonna have access to seven mana, so this is four. Wait, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven mana. Okay. So we have access to seven mana. All right. So we don't need any more blue. Put this on white. So I can add... This is going to cost seven mana. Four. So if I play this... I want to play this. But I don't know if I have enough to do it. Two, three, four, five, six... Six, that would be seven mana. So five, six, seven. All right. So blue, white. So we could play this. And then whenever it mutates, we get to draw a card. So mutate here. Obviously under. Draw a card. All right, in the next turn, we're going to do this into this. But we're going to start taking a lot of damage, so we need to start. That's why we need to start gaining life. But luckily for us, we could also do a lot of damage next turn. What the hell? So three, four, five, six. Oh, so he has lethal. He drew. Oh, wow. He drew the flare, huh? Oh, no. All right. So we're good. We good. We good. All right. Here we go. 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 Okay. So every spell I play is going to put a counter on it. Every spell I play is going to put a counter on it. So 
this is going to cost me three this is going to cost me five so one two so we have access to eight mana five and three that's eight mana we get to get double triggers so yeah let's do that so we got to make sure to add one oh we got to add two black i guess so two black and a white so add two color mana so black white go ahead and do this one put it on that um sure i think that's lethal uh we'll go ahead and kill this that might be lethal wait why is it not letting me that's weird oh my gosh oh I let it auto use the mana. Otherwise, we would have done it again. Kill this. That sucks. That sucks. Auto use the mana, huh? Put one of them into your hand. One of them into your library. Oh my gosh, I didn't. Uh, that could have been an 8-8, eight, eight, would have been 16, this would have been lethal. That would have been lethal, whatever, we gotta attack now. 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> and we would have been, oh well. Oh well. That's hilarious. We're gonna keep the shock for the Improbable Alliance. Sure. Yep, so we win. I can't believe I let it auto-tap use all my mana. It's the one bad thing about it, I guess. Three, four, five, six. Good game. All right, we got it. We got it. I bet you we didn't move either. Hey YouTube, welcome to the final analysis of this deck, the end all be all with the deck. Um, we're currently sitting at a, um, well, let's see, what are we sitting at real quick? Um, 10 and 4, so 71% 71 win rate, pretty good. I mean, we're in, ooh, uh, save and exit discard changes um currently at 98 percent with it we're playing it in a best of one so it's going to be a hard, lot harder to uh rank up but i mean that's pretty good so uh 71 percent 10 4 and mythics not bad so let's go over the deck really quick um it kind of sucks because it changed things around here because i had it a certain way but and then now i changed things up put these all here Move this here, move these here. All right, there we go. So that's much better. All right, so yeah. So I think for best of one, I think this is probably a pretty darn good makeup for it. You could change maybe a few cards here and there. But beyond that, I don't think you can change very much of it. Don't even worry about the sideboard. I was originally going to try it in a best of three matchup. But then I, you know, I was like, scratch that. This is probably just better in a best of one. Because obviously in best of three, they can go ahead and sideboard against your deck and then that would just be bonk you know that'd be very bad for you so i mean obviously you could bring in cards like miscast and stuff like that and ox against like um i mean i'll leave it there if you want to play in best of three but i recommend this as a best of one deck and so anyways so i uh the four shocks and the two fire prophecies uh i think they're great for the best of one matchup because this deals with a lot of stuff loots you through cards shocks are obviously good uh four omens of the pat omen pats are good you need that for the mutate creature here so i would keep that uh iteration and showdown are the ones where i'm still a little i mean these these three card slots right here are the ones that i'm very you know it you know iffy with but you kind of need them because if you have two of these you could use one of them to keep adding mana while the other one to constantly keep using iteration. But I don't really, it seems like most of my games, I'm not even using iteration on turn three. 
It's most of the time I'm just going off on turn three or turn four, and I don't even have time to cast this, and I just discard it. Same goes with Seize the Spoils and Showdown. But discarding it is actually kind of fine because then you get to play it from your graveyard. So, but like I said, these are kind of, I mean, obviously, I, like I said, I would keep them in because they have the card engine value. Um, showdown, it's an OTK possibility, so that's why there's one in here for that reason. Because you could just mutate a bunch of cards, keep casting free spells, putting 1-1 one, one counters on it, then mutate this creature on it, double strike, attack them for 20. So that's why there's one showdown in here. The iteration and the season spoils are kind of there for discarding outlet, card advantage, and then use Apex down there to recast everything. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think the deck is pretty solid. I wouldn't change too much the only card that i was looking to try and add was this guy because when you mutate this guy he could return something three costs or less back or creature back from the graveyard to the battlefield and polywog is pretty key in this matchup because it lets you loot through stuff makes it all cheaper on top of that uh apex of thunder is pretty key and since they're both three costs I was debating on adding one of these to the deck, but I just didn't know what to cut because you need this for the draw power, so that way you can keep mutating. You need this against the aggro decks because it gives your it kills a creature and gains you four life. You need the the black one because this is the OTK with it. Obviously, you need four of this so you can keep continuing the combo. This is also another draw power. Um, and when Polywog's in play, this is a one mana mutate, which is very, very, very helpful. Worst case scenario, it's a two mana mutate. So Apex Thunder plays uh, o Omen, uh, Omen, pa or Omen, Omen Pats, and then you mutate for two, it nets you two mana, then you can use it again and it gives you another four mana. So you generate six mana off two mana. So um, I guess the only other thing I can think of would be like, maybe take out one shock for it and you could cast this pretty easily double white is not hard you know for the mutate cost double white and double it's pretty easy um but like i said that's the only card that i wanted to add in the deck and i did it but the rest is a solid deck and like i said you could try it in best of three but i feel like it's just better in best of one and uh yeah the deck is you know 71 percent win rate 10-4 in Mythic, 98%. So, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay cyborg guy, or not cyborg guy, gameplay intro and outro in any way that I might change it. Um, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Support, uh, I'd appreciate it if you support me. Uh, hit that thumbs up button, the notification. Always check the description. If you're new, always check the description of the video. It will have the description. Uh, it'll have both the deck, both PC and mobile in the description, um, as well as some other information if you need, if you want to. Has my like Twitter and stuff like that. I usually sometimes will post decks there before I start uh, working on it on this uh, video and see if it any good or not. So check that out. Um, Drop some comments down below if you end up changing it and adding, say, that mutate creature and how it works out. Let me know. Drop some comments down below in the comment section. But hopefully you guys enjoy this deck, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.